Welcome to my parents' beach house. This is located in the Sunshine Coast in Queensland and is across the road from the beach in a small beach town village. They purchased the house in the middle of 2019 and begun renovations straight away. But in September 2019, the area had massive bushfires and while the village was evacuated, mum and dad assumed that the house had just burned down. They were happy to come back about a week later to find that it was okay. Their renovations were able to continue and mum and dad moved in in November 2019. The house was built in 1980 when there weren't a lot of other houses in the area. This house would have been one of only a few that was originally built, but it was built in a time before air conditioners were really common. And so the house was designed in a way to maximize breezes from the ocean coming through the house to keep it cool in the summer. The entrance to the house is some stairs which lead up to a large veranda and this veranda opens up with glass doors into the open plan kitchen and living of the house. At the back of the veranda is another set of stairs and they lead down to a lower level of the house and outdoor areas which then leads on to the garden and towards the beach. When they bought the property, this veranda was painted orange and blue and had lattice everywhere. And what they've essentially done is mainly just painting it white and putting furniture in it. But now it feels a lot more modern and clean. Previously, it was, I think you would describe it as a bit more rustic. And now it feels a lot more elevated, maybe you would say. What's really nice about this space is that it overlooks the staghorns that are in the trees and is exactly at the same height as them. So you're able to get a really lovely view of these beautiful ferns that are living in the trees. And what mum has started doing is when she has orchids that have finished flowering, she literally just chucks them in the top of the staghorns and they survive and reflower. And so from time to time, a beautiful orchid will surprise you and, and appear from the tops of the staghorns, which is really incredible. The open plan kitchen and living comes off the veranda and originally this room was all wood. The walls, the floors and the ceilings which are actually very high exposed pine wood. Also previously the kitchen was was quite basic and, and along the same style as the rest of the house. The biggest impact that mum and dad have had here of course is painting and they've painted all over that wood um, on the walls and the ceiling and that's brightened it up a lot and it makes it feel less like a tree house. Then with the kitchen, they didn't do a whole lot there either, um, other than adding an island bench and tiling the backsplash and a few little bits. But overall, they've kept the same layout that was already there. The island bench has open shelving on one side and in reality, it works really well. Even though I thought that it might look or feel a bit cluttered, it actually doesn't and it's just really convenient. It's definitely something that I would consider for our house. They also added a really large fan in this room. The diameter of this fan would have to be about two meters. It's really huge, really effective. I really like the high ceilings in this room and the beams across the ceiling as well. The bathroom was completely remodeled with the addition of a wet room shower. It wasn't that straightforward to do because while they were doing the work, they discovered asbestos and so that had to be professionally removed, of course, to be safe. But now it's a really nice bathroom. It has the same color scheme that the kitchen has with the bench tops and that green color of the cabinets. They have black fittings for the shower and the tap, but unlike me, they live in an area that doesn't have hard water. So it's not a problem and it looks really good. Whereas at my house, it already looks awful. The house has three bedrooms upstairs, all with built-in cabinetry. This is all painted white. One noticeable thing about these rooms, they have these unusual windows that are not even really windows because they're just panels of wood that you wedge open with a stick basically and that lets the breeze come through and they're really unusual but also you know really beachy that was an original feature that was here when they moved in that they decided to keep just before the main bedroom there is an additional veranda which dad calls the captain's deck it's a nice place to sit in the winter but for most of the time they just use it as a place to dry their towels after they go for a swim in the ocean. The main bedroom has the shell artwork hanging above the bed which is one that I copied in a DIY. That's currently hanging in the entryway at my house. 
The original veranda has stairs that lead down to the lower level and on that lower level is an outdoor area which then leads on to a downstairs room which originally was a bunk room. Mum and Dad have now turned that into a, a TV room basically and then outside there is another bathroom that they also modernised. The downstairs patio area has a barbecue and a dining table with seats around it. Around the back there is a gigantic outdoor shower, which is perfect to rinse off once you come back from a swim in the ocean. The beach is only a two minute walk from the house, so they go almost every day as long as the weather is good. The house has a lot of vintage pieces, but for anything that's available now, I'll post links in the, in the description box below. There's a whole lot more to say about the amazing garden transformation. So make sure you subscribe so that you're notified as soon as that video is available.